Billie Eilish is now under criticism for her new boyfriend, claims of queer baiting, and mouthing a racist slur. So let's break it down. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be spilling the tea on Billie Eilish and her new boo. If you're new here, then don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Also, do click on the bell icon to turn on post notifications. So, without further ado, let's get started. There is no avoiding the reality that if a celebrity does anything disrespectful or controversial, they will be called out on it. That goes without saying. What is startling is when it's the celebs people least anticipate, such as the latest Billie Eilish incident. Eilish, perhaps one of the biggest emerging talents in the music biz, came under fire lately when rumors about who she's dating appeared. An earlier clip reappeared and she posted some iffy remarks on Instagram. I think so many people in Gen Z are on this upbringing of, everyone's finally waking up. Our country is waking up. Silver Barker, a sophomore studying journalism said, Billie Eilish is one of the people who was an idol to everyone, previously, before this. It was totally a shock to hear that everything went down. Then there were the Instagram postings. Eilish is one of the industry's younger musicians, so she hasn't had much time or history with openly dating while popular. As a result, people rushed to numerous assumptions about Eilish's sexuality, assuming that she was gay. This started with some discussions over her song, Wish You Were Gay, in which some speculated that if she wasn't truly queer, the song's lyrics may be deemed queer baiting. But it wasn't until Eilish's newest single, Lost Cause, that this rumor truly took off. She captioned many photos of herself with the women in her music promo on Instagram, I love girls. Scrolling over the comments, anybody can tell that her followers believe she was coming out, or at least alluding to her sexuality in some manner. As a result, many were taken aback when they saw Eilish snuggling up the Matthew Tyler Vorce, who is now openly acknowledged as her boo. Fans were outraged when they found Vorce's previous tweets and Facebook posting in which he used harsh language and insults against black and homosexual people. In 2012, he also referred to Adele as the British Miss Piggy. Billie Eilish's fans are criticizing her over her alleged new boyfriend's homophobic and racist social media posts. As you may know, everything lives forever on the internet, and now that cancel culture is raging, anyone could have their platforms yanked from underneath them with the flick of the proper individual's fingers. Billie's rumored new boyfriend, actor Matthew Tyler Vorce, is learning the hard way that something should be kept under wraps after his previous comments carrying homophobic and racist words such as the N-word and F-word came back to bite him in the last weeks of June. Vorce has been called out by fans after earlier screenshots of the actor uttering allegedly inappropriate comments were discovered. Vorce has been accused of using racial and homophobic slurs in past Facebook comments. Vorce is a Los Angeles-based actor who doesn't appear to have made it big yet. Eilish's boyfriend has just eight credits on his IMDb and has recently begun pre-production on a new film titled The Curse of Frank Sinatra. Previously, the 29-year-old was accused of tweeting sexist comments. The actor, who co-starred with James Franco in the TV film Mother, May I Sleep With Danger, as well as Little Monsters, Return Home, and Dark Hours, Type, was chastised after Eilish's fans found the prior statements. Vorce is accused of calling Adele a British little piggy on Twitter and of using racist and homophobic slurs in social media conversations with his friends. He also referred to girls who claimed to be free-spirited as sluts, and he appeared to support Donald Trump. Vorce justified himself after replying to a fan page that supported his Trump-related claims. Vorce's friends also supported him by reacting to followers on Instagram. For those who may not know, Billie Eilish and Vorce sparked romance rumors in April after being spotted together in California. The duo was recently spotted on a date at Disneyland. The couple was recently chastised online for their 10-year age gap. The latest Vorce controversy just feeds the fire. Vorce had a rather quiet existence before he became involved in the social media scandal. His Instagram account remains hidden, as it was when the racist statement surfaced, and he no longer appears to have a Facebook or Twitter account. Eilish prefers to pursue relationships in private, as she explained in a September interview. I've had relationships and kept them private, and even the ones that I've had, with the tiny amount that I've let the world see, I regret, she told Roman Kemp on Capital Breakfast last year. I think about the people that have made their relationships public, and then they break up, and it's like, what if it goes bad? Her new romance, on the other hand, has taken center stage, and while Billy tries to keep the situation under control before it worsens, her fans, enraged by her alleged boyfriend's previous remarks, have begun to pull apart her clothing collections. 
Billy Eilish reportedly liked an Instagram post that labeled her followers embarrassing, upsetting her fans even more. After a long silence, Billie Eilish obviously liked an Instagram post that called her fans embarrassing, so it appears that Eilish liked a fan's post, indicating that Boris's prior statements may be untrue. According to the post, this fandom is so embarrassing sometimes, like why would you go in someone's comments and say something that you literally don't even know is true and something y'all literally made up? Sometimes y'all are so dumb. Some of you just need to learn how to mind your business. Vorce, on the other hand, issued a public apology after Eilish's followers held him responsible for his remarks. He said, I want to apologize for the things that I wrote on social media in the past. The language I used was hurtful and irresponsible, and I understand how offensive those words are. Whether it was a lyric, a quote, or just me being dumb, it does not matter. He continued, I feel ashamed and deeply sorry that I used them in any context. It is not how I was raised, and it's not what I stand for. I shouldn't have used this language in the first place and I won't use it again. I am so sorry for the hurt I have caused. I take full responsibility and continue to hold myself accountable for my actions. Barker was underwhelmed with his apology. I think once you have the light on you and you're in the spotlight, that's when people apologize, Barker said. I don't think it was truly sincere. Those words, I think you need to understand what you have said and what harm you could have caused the people. As if the queer baiting and Boris controversies are not enough, an old clip of Eilish uttering a racist slur emerged only a few weeks later. The modified compilation video showed her mouthing the lyrics of Tyler, the creator's 2011 song Fish, in which he uses an anti-Asian slur. In a long Instagram story explanation, Eilish expressed how appalled and embarrassed she was by the footage and attempted to clear the air, because I'm being labeled something that I'm not. In her apology, she said that she was a young adolescent when she mouthed the phrase, which she didn't realize was a disparaging slur against the Asian population, and that she wanted to puke for knowing the truth now. This song was the only time I'd ever heard that word, as it was never used around me by anyone in my family, she wrote. Regardless of my ignorance and age at the time, nothing excuses the fact that it was hurtful, and for that, I am sorry. Eilish adopts a gibberish voice at some other part in the video clip, something she claimed was not intended to impersonate anybody, but was simply her goofing around. As if there was any doubt about the racial slur, Eilish also stated how anti-racist she is in her Instagram story. I not only believe in, but have always worked hard to use my platform to fight for inclusion, kindness, tolerance, equity, and equality, she wrote. We all need to continue having conversations, listening, and learning. I hear you and love you. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Though some of us feel Eilish should be held responsible by her followers and herself for her behavior, we equally understand that she is still very young and is still learning. And we can't help but feel that what she does next now that she has publicly apologized will reveal whether or not she is truly sorry. Some fans believe she should go farther and educate herself. They are claiming that she is playing the dumb card because a lot of people are watching her, especially because she's famous and also has a huge audience. She needs to know what's coming out of her lips and what she's saying before she says it. But we believe there is hope for redemption. Cancel culture can be extremely severe, and it all relies on whether she decides to continue trying and attempt to rectify herself, as well as to prove to her followers that she would make efforts to better educate herself. Alright folks, that's all the tea we've got to spill today. And now I would like to know what you think about all this. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. See you soon.